da 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 Okay, we're in the bedroom. Now we're going into the closet. Okay, so there's the door that slides into the wall. And there's an S right there. So we know the light switch is going to be on the outside of the closet. And then that line goes up to a light in the ceiling. We look at that S and it says E13. We look over. You're just going to have to trust me here. I look over to my little schematic. And E13 says single pull. So I know that's just a standard light switch going up to a light. And the light says E05. And I look at E05 and it says globe lighting white. So I go over here to E05. Kind of, see, it's kind of hard for me to do this. You're just going to have to kind of look at this. E05 is right here and I go across and the quantity is 5. It says globe lighting white. Okay, so that's the quantity is five. So I know inside the home, there's going to be at least five of those. So if, I, so if I go over to these plans and I look and I count them up, there's one. You know, E05 is there. Here's another E05. And then I'll try to find where the other E05s are. And I might take a felt tip pen, you know, like yellow or pink or something like that. And I'll highlight those. And then I'll match them up over to here because I want to make sure I understand where everything is so that when I order my materials, I get all the right amount of items. Or if I have any questions, maybe the plans are wrong. Or I thought something went somewhere and I forgot and I missed one in the closet, in the laundry closet or behind a door or something like that. That's what these plans are going to tell you. Okay, I'm in that same closet again, right here. Pocket door slides into the wall. That's why it's sliding into the wall. That's what you call pocket door. And see right there, it says E10. And I looked at my schematic. E10 says 51 duplex. So those are duplex receptacles. And there's 51 of them in here. Here's another one over here. These lines, are these, these are the walls, okay? that go around that closet. So I know in the closet there's only one plug. It's up against that far wall. And uh, so if I was going to install the plugs to this place, I would know I have to put one up against this wall. And that's it in that room. So next time you see a set of plans and you see electrical, know that every single one of the symbols has a meaning. You just have to look at the corresponding little diagram and then you can read what all that stuff means. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. And see, all that stuff is put over here on the plans. Little pictures, diagrams, and all that. In one room, look at all that stuff in there. So here we look at all these things, we figure all that out. And then we also look at the numbers, and then we go over to this sheet over here, or this area here, where it talks about the numbers and the quantities and the description of everything over here. Okay? That's the first thing you have to do in order to understand how to read these plans. Let's look at these symbols a little bit more closely to make sure you understand what these mean. So that first symbol is the ceiling fan description. The next one says ventilation fan, ceiling mount, and wall mounted. So there's a distinction on there. Those next things, ceiling mount, light fixtures, surface pendant, recessed, heat lamp, low voltage. So that's what types of light fixture those are. The next one says wall mounted light fixtures. Flush mounted wall sconce. That hangs on the wall there. That next one is a chandelier light fixture. Next one, fluorescent light fixture. It looks like a 2x4 
or a, a rectangular light fixture. And if you have questions about that, you would ask the builder, whoever drew the plans, hey, what, what's the spec, what's the design, what's the size, all that. That next thing was the 240 volt receptacle. And then the next one, those are 110 volt receptacles. This is US now. And see it says duplex, weatherproof, and GFCI. See the commas in there? So you look over here, and the first one is the standard duplex. And the middle one that says WP is the weatherproof. And then GFCI is that third one, okay? So then the next is the wall switches. See, there's four switches there. One is regular with nothing. The next one says WP on it, which means weatherproof. The next one has a little three up next to it. And the next one has a four next to it. And you just read these. Single pole, weatherproof, three-way, and four-way. That's what the S3 means, is three-way, and the S4 is a four-way light switch, meaning you can turn on a set of lights from two different locations, a three-way switch, two different locations in a room, one side of the room and another side of the room. It's connected to a three-way switch rather than a, a regular standard switch. Four-way switch means you can turn it in three different locations. That means it's a four-way switch. And those next switches is a dimmer switch. See that DM? That means dimmer. And the T is for timer. So anytime you, you don't know what something looks like, you don't have to ask anybody. You just look at the legend and you can go over all this stuff. See, there's telephone jack, intercom, thermostat, door, door chime, smoke detectors. There's the electrical breaker panel. See that little symbol for that? It's right there. If you want to know where the breaker is, breaker panel, you just look for that BP and that line somewhere on the plans. You'll find it.